Um, so I'm Lou Shepard and I am one of the P. Lance artists in residence at the Faculty of Education this year. Well, my name is Deborah, uh, Debbie for everybody. I am from Brazil and uh, an artist in residence here from the last, uh, from September to March, you know, the last uh, two seasons. Working mainly with dance, with movement, with uh, knowing the, the, the own body. One class that was a real favorite uh, was a class that I did, it was actually one of Claudia's classes, uh, and we talked, uh, we were talking about metaphor. Lou kind of started out by talking about their own experiences as, in terms of memory and drawing and, uh, and uh, narrative, but then asked students to think of a particular memory that they had and to try to draw it. So people were writing about things like, uh, I think somebody was writing about remembering a moment of being like alone under the night sky and looking up at the stars. Somebody else wrote about a car crash that they'd been in. So it was these moments of sort of of real meaning that came through and uh, we took those and then we traded them with each other and and the person who received someone else's memory then had to represent that memory uh, just through shape and color so actually like not even through uh, not even through like an image but just thinking about how to represent it through say like like just through these sort of like shapes evoking a kind of feeling or a texture and colors evoking a kind of feeling or texture. And that actually was such a simple but really powerful project. The idea was not make dancers, no, but the idea is to give them um, the opportunity of know that they can move, they can dance the way they are. So, uh, and it happens because most of them tell me that they do the, the movements at home, that they go, they feel like dancing after, afterwards, and then, and then I see that they are taking what they learn here to their lives. She would give us instructions, we closed our eyes, we had to interact with each other, we had to um, just do very basic movement, like walking around the room, walking with our hands down, walking with our hands up, um, and it was a really amazing experience, I found, because you could notice your body and where you were holding stress for me in my chest. When I was working in the classroom, something that was really exciting is, is not even just so much the topic and the project at hand, but talking to students about this idea of what does it mean to actually be creative. It's not about, it's not necessarily about making a painting. It's about thinking flexibly and thinking adaptively. And Think, and sort of this idea of innovation and problem solving in your environment. So I think that was probably the most valuable thing that I could that I could bring uh, to the classes that I was working with. Because that's the the goal of my at least my uh, my artist residence uh, was to make people more to give them tools to be more creative. Because I I don't see education without creativity. To be honest, the arts could be useful for anybody who's hoping to think <laughs> really profoundly about what it is that they're observing or, or the results of their experiment and what it means. You could have the arts uh, you know, across the curriculum, uh, obviously in, in classes like history, um, uh, English and so on, but also in math and science and of course um, the, the recent art and science program that uh, bringing together the Mahai and the Red Path is a good example of that. Mixing art with education is not only good, I think it's necessary, I don't see how we can, we can, we can uh, build, if I can say, you know, uh, educators, good, nice educators without having this background. And this we have a lot of li literature. We can talk about Herbert Reed, John Dewey, um, and lots of authors that say that. So I think it's nice to have this here at the McGill, so that the, the education uh, program, the education faculty, faculty of education, in a sense, is uh, aware of that because this can make totally a difference.